Hi, Lokanath. How are you? Yeah, I am good, sir. Thank you for asking me, sir. What about you, sir? I am good too. Thank you. So, can you tell us something about yourself? Okay, sir. First of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity, sir, to introduce myself. My name is T. Lokanath. I am from Andhra Pradesh, but currently staying in Hyderabad, Desar Nagar. I did my graduation in B.Tech, Electronics and Communication Engineering from Pregarshan College in Guntur. I then undergone four months training, uh, manual testing automation tools from Naresh Technologies. Coming to my technical skills, I have good knowledge in manual testing, SDLC, STLC, bug life cycle, automation, Selenium web driver with Core Java. Uh, my hobbies are listening songs, learning new things, paintings. Um, my strengths are self-motivated. I am a good player. Mm -hmm. uh, to my family, I have a small family. We are four members, including me. That's all about me, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Now, when you were in an interview, you get this kind of question. Tell me something about yourself. So, you should cover about the projects that you have completed, maybe any internship you have done, or recent technologies or tools that you have learned. You have got some certifications with respect to software testing, right? Let it be manual or automation. So those kind of things you have to tell in them whenever they ask you about introduction, right? It's okay if you can avoid telling about the families and number of members in the family, right? So okay. that is fine. What what the interviewer will be interested in? What, what makes you come for this interview, right? Why are you looking for a job in the field of software testing? So those things he will be trying to search in an answer, when you are giving the answer of this question, tell me something about yourself. So he will be trying to search those things in your answer. So you have to come up with those kind of keywords. Like maybe you would have done recently test, tested some particular website. You might would have tested some particular application in which you would have found some bugs, any projects that you have done. So those things you should tell, right? This is a opportunity for you. This is an opportunity for you where you can highlight and you can increase your chances of getting selected in an interview right so yeah so this is a very important question okay now what do you know about software testing life cycle software testing life cycle mm -hmm. software testing life cycle leaders are like a set of status in particular bugs uh, like first of all following some steps are first of all uh, like new new means like new bug reported as a tester, then we'll uh, assign it that particular bug and uh, open. Open means as a that particular bug is accepted to uh, developer and uh, working on the bug. Then uh, developer is uh, fixed that particular bug. Fix means like a developer fixed that particular bug, implementation the code. Then at that time, uh, as a tester doing retesting. Uh, retesting means uh, confirming issues has been fixed or not. In case that particular bug is fixed, sir, uh, uh, testing is closed. Then uh, close means uh, expected the result. Uh, and uh, that's all, sir. Now, the question that was asked was about software testing life cycle, right? What you answered was about bug life cycle. Whenever the defect is getting created, which are the different stages that are there in the bug, right? Okay. So that was the answer that you gave. So what is software testing life cycle? Do you know about STLC? There are certain phases uh, in software testing life cycle. Yes, sir. Uh, software life cycle is a uh, software cycle, sir. Uh, first of all, uh, Following some steps, sir. First of all, understanding requirements and uh, test plan and uh, test scenarios and uh, test execution and uh, bug reporting. Finally, test closure and uh, test plan taking care by as a test lead and uh, test execution, test scenarios. Those are things taking care by as a tester. So that is the uh, testing life cycle, sir. So which are the phases of software testing life cycle? Uh, SD, V model and uh, waterfalls model, 
and agile methodology. So, so what is V model, waterfall model, agile methodology? Right. These are all. These are not the phases of software testing lifecycle, right? Well, the, the phases of software testing lifecycle are requirement analysis, test planning, test case development, test environment setup, test execution, and at the end you will be going for test cycle closure, right? So these are the phases of software testing lifecycle. Did, did you go through this topic? Sir? Did you did you go through this topic when you were preparing for manual testing? No, sir. So this is very important topic. Software development life cycle, software testing life cycle. You need to have a detailed thorough knowledge about these things. Then only the further things you will be able to do. Right? Creating defect, logging the defect, assigning it to the developer that is a secondary stage. But how the software is getting developed, which are the various phases the software is being tested, which are the various stages of that. So that is the key point, right? So before learning about these concepts, don't move forward. So these are very important concepts of manual testing, right? SDLC, STLC, right? Okay. So these things you have to ensure that you have a good knowledge before you go for a real time interview. Okay, now what do you mean by entry and exit criteria? Entry or exit criteria? Entry and entry. exit criteria. Yeah. Entry criteria means uh, like a reference to document mm -hmm. that contains like uh, first of all uh, approach uh, PMP. PMP means like project management plan. Then and approach uh, uh, requirements like SRS requirements, BRS requirements, and uh, approach. Uh, test to plan guidelines, test to formats. So that is exit entry criteria. Exit criteria means like output or result. So, so when I say that it is a criteria, right? That means there will be some points that you will be making a note of it, right? So, so can you tell me about certain aspects? that are key things as a part of entry criteria and exit criteria. Oh, sorry, sir, tell me again. Yeah. So can you tell me what actually we are looking for when we say that, okay, this is the entry criteria for this particular application. This is the exit criteria for testing. So what, what do you mean by entry and exit criteria? Entry, entry criteria means sir, like, sir, uh, we want to like first of all test scenarios at that time uh, follow in entry criteria. Okay. See, entry criteria is nothing but it will define the list of prerequisite items that must be completed before the testing can begin. Okay. For example, you should have test environment, you should have a BRD, you should have some requirements before you start testing. You should have the details of the user story or you should have the details of the ticket or issue which is supposed to be tested right what is exit criteria exit criteria is nothing but those are the items that must be completed before testing can be concluded simple yes. yeah are you able to understand this now it's pretty yeah, yes, yeah, it's it's straightforward okay okay what are test cases what test cases? Hmm. Test cases means, sir, like uh, how to be exactly tested any one kind of applications. Okay, but you will be documenting it. Yeah, yes, sir. So, so what you will be documenting it in a test case? Uh, like, sir, for example, uh, Gmail application, sir, uh, like giving, first of all, uh, username labels uh, verify the like working or not and password working or not uh, and like a url is launching working or not all things is your test cases these are not test cases these are test scenarios when you say one line uh, verify this url is working or not verify this page is getting loaded or not verify this 
validation messages displayed or not. So these are test scenarios, right? Yeah. What are so test, test cases? Test cases mean, hmm. means like uh, I am giving like a, a valid username and a invalid password and I click on the button uh, and, and uh, for, uh, forget password click on and uh, for, sir first of all any one application testing at the time I am launching the uh, browser then giving the URL and that particular application uh, giving like a username or invalid password and click on button these things all test cases then these things all test cases is completed successfully passed then visible like any one kind of home page this is called test cases okay i agree these are test cases but do you think that if you if someone will ask you to write test cases you will just write these things verify this forward password is working verify this link is working is that completed or you will be mentioning other details also in the test cases yeah, yes. like labels on like logo and a forward uh, password for forget message like the wrong message all things in the test cases. okay so those are the different set of test cases that you are telling me about login page sign up page okay now the question is when i say test cases right so what are test cases so so how will you tell what is a test case so test case is nothing but it's a document which has set of test data it has preconditions it has expected results it has post conditions okay then you will be mentioning what is the verification point what is the checkpoint that you will have right then you will be very, uh, you will be mentioning about expected result actual result right so these are this is a detailed level of document okay now coming to the second aspect when you say that uh, you are verifying login page right so you will be having prerequisite for that you will be having test data again you will be having actual result expected result so those those kind of example you can take and you can tell what all columns you will have in the test cases what all data you will keep in all those test cases that's how you have to explain in an interview okay okay, okay now you have joined from laptop right yes sir okay so now i am giving you a java program which you have to write okay i am giving you sharing rights you need to write a java program to reverse your string name so your name is a string value and you have to reverse that particular string so what program you will write that you have to write Okay, so you can share your screen, you can use IntelliJ, you can use any IDE, you can use Notepad, anything is fine. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, please click on green button, share screen and share. Create a new program. I am creating one class, sir. Okay. Then I am taking main method because the JVM accepted. First of all, starting point is main method. Mm. Sir, so I am using three different classes, sir. Uh, string buffer. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Sabe? Yes, Hello? yes. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Sir, completed, sir. Okay, now. Okay, so you have completed this program. Wonderful. So you took string as RD automation. String buffer. What is string buffer? Uh, string, uh, string buffer is the one type of three different classes, sir. Uh, and uh, sir, I want to like to same memory storage string values at the time I'm using string buffer. In case I don't have uh, same memory storage values at the time I'm using only string value, like a string class. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the difference between string buffer and string builder? String, uh, sir, string is a immutable. Hmm? Uh, string buffer is a sir, I know, but I forget. Mm -hmm. Okay, no worries. So let this be an open question for the people who are watching this video. What is the difference between string buffer and string builder? Okay, now question for you, Lokanath. If I use string builder over here instead of string buffer, will I get the same output or not? Sir? If I am using string builder instead of string buffer over here in this java program then yes, will i get the same output or not yes sir you will get are you sure yes sir okay now please replace string buffer with string builder and then let us see Sir, I'm uh, taking empty string, sir. Mm. Sir, I'm using for loop, sir. No, no. Why, why are you going for for loop? I'm just asking if I use string builder instead of string buffer then will it work without a string buffer yes without string buffer if i use string builder then will it work uh, no sir no are you sure uh, sir two minutes back you told yes it will work now you are telling it won't work just put string builder instead of string buffer and then let us see what output you are getting don't use for loop for now that is a separate thing remove for loop use string builder instead of string buffer sir i'm using a scanner class why you want to go for scanner class Huh? Lokanath, why why you are looking to go for a scanner class? Okay, okay sir. Uh, sir, I'm taking... I'm, I'm asking you, why you are looking to go for a scanner class? Sir, without a pre different class, uh, that I'm using a scanner class, because the scanner class is meant for... Uh, uh, display console writing keyboards that is fine you want to take an input from the user that's why you can go for scanner class that is a separate approach which you are looking for i'm just asking you to replace string builder right instead of string buffer in your existing program so there was a program that you had written in which you had mentioned about string buffer I want you to replace string buffer with string builder and see what happens in the program. Simple. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
What happened? It's giving you syntax error. Why? Why is it giving you syntax error? Sir, string builder is undefined method. Okay. Let me let me share my screen. Uh, your screen sharing will be stopped. Okay. Are you able to see my screen? Oh, yes, sir. Okay. See, this is the class reverse string that I have created. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, I kept this particular string. Okay. Now, I am creating string builder object. Input one. Okay. Whatever input one is there that we can use for appending and reverse. So first of all, it will append a string into the string builder input one. Okay. okay. Then we will reverse that particular string and then we will print that particular string. So I have used string builder only. Okay. Yeah. Now, which is the another method that you were telling about scanner? Now, I want you to write that program. The scanner thing that you were telling, the scan, the approach using scanner, so that that you need to write down. Please, please share your screen and write. Click on green button, share screen, and start writing that program. Okay, cool. So the scanner class is available until the scanner package, sir. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Sir? Hmm. Yes, you were asking something. Sir, I'm uh, taking import, sir. Hmm. Java, scanner, Java scanner class is available in Atelier. Uh, utility scanner, sir. Okay. Input. Okay. Then. First you, first you define that string. For example, which string you want to reverse, right? Then you will write a for loop in which you will keep a set of conditions with respect to, you can keep i, for example, if integer i equal to zero, i is less than string dot length. Right, so whatever is the length of the character, so for that every character it will extract and it will run that particular loop, right? So that thing you will have to develop. You will have to work on this Java programming, sir. It's very important. But this is good that you have started using ID being a fresher, right? So it is similar to kind of you have taken an admission in a very well reputed college with paying a lot of fees, a lot of money. But now you need to study, you need to open the books. <laughs> Okay, so it seems, hmm, yeah, sir, I, yeah, tell. I confused, sir. Like, Even I am confused. No, no worries. 
<laughs> so just kidding. Uh, let me share my screen and I'll tell you what I was expecting. So expected result versus actual result is not same. Let me stop sharing your screen. Okay, now let me share my screen. Okay, so I have, see this will be the solution. Okay, this is the string. And I was telling you about this particular for loop. Yes, sir. Okay, simple. See your favorite term scanner is also coming over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like scanner a lot, right? Even when I was not pushing you in that direction, you yourself went into that direction and then you got confused. So in an interview, always remember that uh, if you are not confident about something, so don't move in that direction. Okay. Otherwise, interviewer will definitely ask you questions on that in that direction. So and then again, you will lose your confidence. So keep that thing in mind. Okay, no worries, Lokanath. It was nice talking to you, right? Uh, and it's a Saturday. So enjoy your weekend. Yeah. Right. Anything else you would like to ask? Sir, which is still an intro, sir? Tell me, like uh, uh, Java or uh, Selenium. Sir, I already learned sir, Java manual uh, with the uh, for Java. You sir. have learned. You have learned, but you will have to revisit those things. No worries. You have learned. At least that is a good thing. But keep that revision on because see, software testing, life cycle, bug life cycle, these are very basic questions. You should not get confused. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Chill. Take some time for preparation. Okay. Today is Saturday. Maybe you have interview scheduled or you are applying into the companies. Right. Okay, so do some preparation, apply into the companies and kickstart your career in software testing. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lokanath. It was nice talking to you and wish you Thank all the best you for your so career. Much, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you.